Well, hello and welcome back to Camper Van Culture. So, what am I doing here? Well, at the minute we're in Rabat Airport car park. Uh, Mark picked me up in Olive the truck last night. Uh, so we just stayed here because it was super late. Had some beers, um, a bit of food. And Mark has kindly offered to drive me around for a couple of weeks. And of course, what idiot's going to say no? Um, his wife... Um, V has been flown home for two weeks to see family back to Scotland so he was riding solo with the dog so he offered kindly offered for me to to come and join him for two weeks so that's what we're gonna do well it's forecast snow in the UK next week but look at the weather here absolutely lovely it's now beginning of March it's like a summer's day in the UK weather wise I'm going to head off in a minute, go to the car of four, load up with some stuff, then I'm going to hit the road. What are you doing? <laughs> you want to go for a ride? All good. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> well, this is a nice little stop off. Just pulled off the main road though. Heading over to the Atlas Mountains now, which can 
be seen revealing themselves. It's had an absolutely, excuse me, amazing meal at that roadside place. I'm gonna get look forward to more of those. I think we need lots of those. My wife at the minute. But yeah, it's so good to be back in Morocco again. It doesn't feel real. Well, here's an amazing camp spot that we stayed at last night. Went down a dirt track for a way and then pulled in around here in these trees. Had a great time, had a fire, a few beers, some nice food, and Mark's just doing a coffee now inside the truck. Uh, dogs running around somewhere, and um, yeah, fantastic place. We set off yesterday from Rabat, uh, heading toward towards Azru, where the cedar forests are. I'm going to catch a few pistes, hopefully, and we managed to do a little bit of off-road driving yesterday just to find some camp spots. Uh, hit a couple of dead ends that just led to farms, but these are the sort of places that I really love to travel for, to find. They're just random places you find as you're transiting, and this, this place is pretty special. Just beautiful, actually. Weather's nice. Like loads of wildlife, don't know if you can pick up on all that birds and stuff, but yeah, we're gonna head off in a while after a coffee and um, see what we come across. Just a little look around and show you where we came in at yesterday. We came in from over that way somewhere. There's a track that comes around here. It goes over there, it's not very well used. And then we just tucked ourselves over there so we can't be seen from the from over there where there's some kind of farm areas I guess. There's plenty of tracks on the floor from like sheep and stuff so I guess they all graze out this way. Loads of dead wood on the floor for firewood. We didn't have any problem there, we just shit everywhere, scattered around. And yeah, just a beautiful, beautiful place really. Yeah, it's funny isn't it, when um, you're in a moment you almost want to recognise that you're in in the good old days while you're in them. <laughs> and the places like these that always, like when I think of a trip, this is the sort of place that always gets me like, oh, I remember that kind of 
spot and this feeling that I'm feeling now is, is just amazing. But yeah, we're going to head off, uh, see, see what we're going to find today. Uh, stocked up on food, I've been trying some pretty good food actually so far. And uh, make the most of being in Morocco again. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Algeria is not uh, it's, it's a huge country, oui. does not control its border. Oui. That's it.
carried away with that one, mate. With what? The fire? <laughs> yeah. Nah, no, nah, it's fine. <laughs> there we go. That's perfect. Well, just having a bit of a tidy up after last night. Uh, hide the fire. And leave no trace as you do. But yeah, what an epic stay. <clears throat> Lovely place here. Um, can't make a mind up whether it's a gorge or a quarry. Either way, it's pretty stunning. We took a walk along the edge up there last night. And there's actually quite big mountains up there that lead straight up. So all this firewood that we had, that we found really easy to find, we just washed in off those slopes. So it looks like they've had a lot of rain recently. Uh, the whole area is pretty green. It's usually quite barren. Uh, but yeah, we're in, we're in the cedar forest now. Uh, where all the monkeys are as you saw from yesterday I'm just gonna head off for a short while and have a drive around maybe hit a few of the pieces today and just have a nice relaxing uh, explore really
fucking hell. Where is the ease road? <laughs> How's that feel? On to. easy it's going to be to pick up the surroundings here because they're quite quite a vast vista almost looks manicured and landscapes the, the scenery because it's just so beautiful um, came upon this little outcrop this little hill here just to just to take it all in and we're going to head off today again another another um another bit of oh, of peace driving we did a little bit yesterday it was pretty good Went across the plains from the uh, monkey forest. There's like some large plains that we went through on a piece. It's pretty rocky. Uh, you really need 4x4 four four for that, actually. And then um, carry on going for a while. I'm going to keep going. Apparently, there's some sort of ski resort that um, I doubt there'll be snow though, but just a little bit further on. We're going to head towards that, and then there's some other piece we can take from there. And then we're going to double back to up near the monkey forest again because we've got one of um, Mark's mates popping a, coming down from the UK for a few days. Uh, he's never been to Morocco before so he popped a roof tent on his car <laughs> and he's going to come join us for a couple of days so that should be fun. Always, always good to have a, someone else to talk to as well and uh, share stories with. But yeah, it's, it's, well as you can see it's, it's amazing. We did have some people swing by last night, some shepherds and some um, wood collectors. They had um, horses with us and, you know, we had a ride on the horses, which was pretty fun. Um, one thing I am noticing, actually, it's quite noticeable, is <clears throat> from when we was here, like, 10 or 12 years ago, um, people just seem much more laid back. We haven't had anyone ask us for anything yet, like, even, like, a, you usually get, like, cigarettes, you know, you got a cigarette or whatever, but we, just, we haven't even had that. Like, no one has... Everyone's just been really, really cool, and like usually it's like that with the horse thing last night. It's like, oh, you know, get on horse ride. Oh, you got something afterwards, but it, it, it was just a. It would just be nice, and yeah, we, we don't get stirred at or 
you know, people aren't interested in us. It's really funny, um, which is good because last time we kind of, I always remember we did kind of get a little bit of that. Maybe it's the group dynamic we were travelling in last time, but I know that when it was me, Isaac, and Louise on our own, we we never really got any stirred out or anything like that. I think we thought that Louise was um, a Moroccan lady because she wore the headscarf and everything all the time. And I think she thought, everyone thought she was Moroccan, that was nice for a Moroccan lady, but um, yeah, this time there's just no, no one asking for anything. I haven't even been offered weed, like, that's unheard of. I've never, I've not even been called Alibaba yet, which is, again, mental. But yeah, we're going to shoot off anyway, enough of that. Um, let's get some more adventures. The dog's coming over now. Ella, yeah, she's coming over, she's so good. This is... This is Mark's dog, Erla, and she's, they picked her up in um, Turkey, but she looks like a Moroccan dog. Erla, come on, come here, come here. What you doing? What you doing? Come here, come on, come here. Yeah, she, she never comes back when you call her. <laughs> Erla, come on. Anyway, let's see what the dough brings. Well, the piste took us to the ski centre, gotta say, this is no more zine. Where are you from? It's a good thing. It's not 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 a good thing.
Well, you might have noticed there's a new member of our group. You'll see Carl in the background. Um, and what we've setting up camp and what we've been doing today has been pretty cool. Just had a little bit of a revisit of this little area that we found the other day because we knew Carl was coming in from England. So Carl is a friend of Mark's that he used to work with, um, I think it was like 27 years ago or something. So you haven't seen each other in such a long time. And um, Carl was watching Mark and following his progress on the world tour that they're doing. And um, when this free spot came up, for uh, Fiona went back, obviously, as you know, and uh, just for two weeks. So I flew in and then Carl said he was going to drive down to meet us here. Now, Carl has never been to Morocco before. He's only recently got into travelling. He drove up to Norway uh, in the recently, actually, in that little Honda he's got. It's a two-wheel drive, and he popped a roof tent on. He, I think he bought second-hand. And it's good because he's not been here before to Morocco, and it's awesome because we're really buzzing off his, like, kind of fresh meat um <laughs> fresh meat he's kind of is in this in this country so he's we're sort of buzzing off off everything he's he's getting excited about like we went for a tagine and stuff today and um took him off for our drive in for the first time in the truck so he, he drove the truck we kind of all out the roof and everything it's brilliant so he arrived last night we went back to the monkey forest just because it's pretty much the only place that we could find that was um, like a centre point that you could find easily. So we camped uh, last night at this place, which was um, not too far from the canyon that we'd previously camped in. Uh, we had a pretty good night, um, a morning, lazy morning, just kind of hanging around and trying to wrestle with that bloody roof tent there that's... Um, it's no front runner roof tent, put it that way, but um, interestingly, this more expensive as well to buy, which is kind of odd. But yeah, those we work that out anyway, so he's using it in a minute, he's kind of almost there with it. It's been a really good time again. We, um, we're gonna chill out here tonight and then have a few more drinks, uh, fire some food, just usual, really. And then uh, we're going to make a bit of a plan to maybe exit the Cedar Forest tomorrow, unfortunately. It's been amazing and I can't wait to come back. Let no daddy up, Ellen, and no, no daddy up, Ellen, and no. 
It looks. <laughs> the guys with the Formula Ones do it with the, the two tyres, don't they? Yeah, but look how wide it is. Yeah, it's going to fall over. Give <laughs> Battle scars. Well, another beautiful morning in Morocco. Yesterday we left the Cedar Forest 
uh, headed out east this way into the desert. Beautiful spot. Well, unfortunately, we had to stop for the night in this place. Well, it's not an unfortunate place to stay. It's just Carl put a rock through his tire on something that we've called the Berber Stinger. It's quite funny. Carl's an ex-policeman. <laughs> and uh, I think he worked in the traffic division too. So, Anyway, here we are. So... A lot of people drive south from where we left the Cedar Forest. Um, not many people come over east this way. Noticeably, straight away, everything is way cheaper. Um, we were kind of getting to jeans for like 70 dirham in um, up near the uh, Monkey Forest there in, um, what's the place called? Azru. Got down got east further along and now we're looking at kind of like half that price so and they're like twice the size so they're pretty good um, everything else is going pretty good at the minute no major hassles just got to get this uh, tire of Carl's fixed he's on a space saver at the minute so we keep taking the piss and he's like taking it pretty well <laughs>
Yeah. 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 Okay, just a quick, mega quick update this morning um, in Medelt, stayed at campsite last night just so we could use the showers, uh, get onto the Wi-Fi and all that kind of stuff. Uh, met a nice English couple over there, a few drinks of those guys, um, but yeah, we're sun shining, beautiful day, just going to fill the truck up with water, then we're going to go head off, so uh, let's see what today brings.
نظمي تنري نري شجري ودي قاستي نمك ساند العنصري يدت ودي قاستي نمك ساند صوري يدت لا ساعة vegetable shopping yeah. in this um, typically Arabic kind of souk we're up in the mountains so it's pretty old school up here Chocolate stuff's a bit
Let's see his little face. Not you, Mark, the tortoise. <laughs> 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 oh, Carl, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, well, one thing I've picked up from this trip is um, if you ever want a bit of local hospitality, just look for these places, which is um, the initiative, for national initi yeah, initiative for National Develop Human Development. So it's kind of like a um, community centre, yeah, that's what I was looking for. And, um, but they've always got food on the go, they've always got tea on the go, and the, everyone who we've couple of people we've met who run these places, they always seem like a good laugh. There's always a tagine on the go, what have you. But yeah, there's a top tip. It's a big orange truck. Carl, you arrived in Morocco as a Morocco virgin. Tell us what you think of Morocco travelling in a two-wheel drive standard car. You've got a minute. I thought it was not going to make it, to be honest with you. I thought I was going to really struggle. But um, the car has performed extremely well considering I've been following this four-wheel wheel monster. Um, I've had to take my time but um, yeah superb superb in, in every way uh, apart from obviously the flat tyre but that, that could have happened to anybody. <laughs> um, yeah Morocco itself what a stunning country but you've got to get off the main highways and get onto the dirt tracks to find the villages to find the real Moroccans eat their food, drink their tea, share their smiles. That's, that, that to me is the holiday, I think. That's okay, do, do you have a highlight, Cole? Highlight, um... Sorry to just throw this on you, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> highlight. Um, it's the campsites, all the campsites we've been in. We've been really lucky, a couple of them, well, particularly the one with the, the burst tyre, 
that, that was thrown at us, but what an amazing sight that was. And the one with the with the mountain views and the little quarry, stunning, okay. stunning. Will you be back, Cole? Definitely. Hopefully, this same year, with Mark meeting up um, at some point, whether it be Morocco or wherever it may be, but definitely coming back. Ready? Yeah. Bye, hun! Hey, guys! <laughs> Legend. Well, here we are. The trip's finally ended. Um, come to a finish. I'm flying home later today. Got to catch the plane tonight from Fez. We're actually in this campsite in Fez, de Montvert, where uh, we stayed when we first came down all those years back, so that's quite nice. A lot of things have changed. <clears throat> uh, just a summary of the trip so far, or a summary of the trip overall. Uh, it's been pretty good actually. Found out that Morocco's a lot more laid back in places, um, places I'd never travelled to before. There's a lot going on in the north around uh, Azru. Uh, there's three national parks, I think, in total. There's tons and tons of pieces that no one seems to visit. And, um, yeah, that, they're, they're pretty good. If anyone's to come to Morocco, I'd suggest you don't just head off down to the desert, rush through the northern parts. I suggest you hang around the cedar forest areas a lot because that's where, as far as I'm concerned, all the best camping is. Obviously, the desert has got its, um, you know, plus points. One thing that is extremely noticeable is huge groups of French and Dutch motorhomes uh, arriving at these campsites and pretty much taking over the whole place you can't get on uh, it's a lot more regimented um, but they, they go around in these huge groups and, and they arrive in the evening do the city tour next morning they're all gone it's like 6 37 and there's absolutely stacks of them, like all old people, which is great for them, but not so good if you want to just turn up somewhere. So any of the bigger campsites, I guess you need to book. But other than that, hit the pistes and um, yeah, just, just find those wild camping gems um, that are out there. And it's been awesome to have Carl turn up in his two wheel drive car, which we've been... Um, We've had good, great fun actually, just just showing Carl around, and and he's kept up pretty good. We did all the more difficult terrain before Carl arrived, but uh, it's just just to show if you do have someone with you who can give you a friendly push every now and again, you can get to some great spots. And remember, these videos we make aren't supported by Patreon. We won't be giving you any Surfshark. Um, a hipster milkshake athletic drinks uh, adverts or anything like that if you like these videos we make do us a favor it'll help us out to hit the like button subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications the next time we upload a video if you're into travel like we are we've got a huge array of products mainly van items and adventure travel gizmos on our web shop campervanculture.com so check that out. We're a small family business and we're all self-funded. So that's it. Jed signing off from the Morocco trip. Ugh, see you later.